a blue giraffe game. I think it's- I think I should restart the game. I think this is supposed to be moving. I think it jogged up because I pet it. Oh, wait. Never mind. Let's just- Alright, hold up. No, never mind. Allison, Daniel's not looking good. Click to continue. This is supposed to be like a good storyline. We'll see. That's because he's bleeding out, Jenny. We'll need to clamp this artery. Oh shit, it's go time. I'm pretty sure this is a mobile game turned PC. So they could sell it on Steam. Got it. Time to floor it, Joe. This won't hold by itself. I'll need to place a ligature. Jenny, give me the kit. Jenny is like freaking the fuck out. Daniel hasn't got much time left. What should I do? Tell Joe to drive faster? Tell Jenny to hurry up? I mean, to be honest, I feel like Joe's already driving pretty fast. Jenny's like, I think Jenny knows him. I got the impression she might know that guy. Hurry the fuck up, Jenny. Jenny, can you hurry up and get the kit, please? Look at Jenny, she's holding a fucking clipboard. What is she doing? Look at her, she just looks incompetent. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, are you kidding me, Jen? I, he's gonna die because of you. He's gonna die because of you. Just collect yourself and get me the items from the kit. You can do this. Concentrate. Okay, that wasn't even what I clicked on. Oh, it's we need Oh, Jesus, she just threw it at her. She just threw the fucking syringe at her. Probably fucking... Get it right in her eyeball. Jen, fuck, now we need to have two people injured. What are you doing? Jenny. Wait, where is that? Fuck, where is that? Oh, there it is. Does that have a, I thought it was like a venture in there. Oh my God. Uh. <laughs> the ligature is holding, but he's still losing blood somewhere. Take off his pants! I need you to decide. <laughs> I need you to see. I'm so drooly today. I need you to survive for me, Daniel. Help me undo his straps. <gasps> drag it. Drag it. Drag them. Oh shit! There it is. You hold him, saying, "I'll stitch the wound." Okay. Uh. 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 Yeah. Killed it. He's, he's stabilizing. And we're close to the hospital. He might just be okay. No thanks to you, Jen. <gasps> no thanks to you. I really hope so. I, I just can't lose him now. No, you're right. I think he might just be okay. Allison, Jenny, hold on. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no! No! Why am I surrounded by idiots? <laughs> and that's the game. Uh, <laughs> three, <laughs> three months earlier, <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> oh my god, I laughed way too hard at that. Holy crap. Oh my god. Why was that so fucking funny? Oh my god. Like, <laughs> that, that was hilarious in such like a not hilarious way. A little to the left. 
I'll say when it's that. Is that the is that the guy who was dead? I think him and her were like fucking, cause she was like ultra worried about him, and like I'm pretty sure on the thumbnail to this game they were like making out. I'll say when to stop. Hey Daniel. Oh my God, it's so true. Allison, I heard you were back. You, got, you excited about finally interning at the surgery department? Excited and scared. Nonsense, you've got nothing to be scared of. Rip. Uh, don't worry, I'm okay. I'm just going to take a quick nap. Is he actually okay? <laughs> like... I'm sorry, Allison, but if I don't keep working, this renovation might be the end of me. No problem, I need to be in surgery anyway. Peace, bitch. Good luck with that guy. Yeah, I think he had a concussion. That's why I went to sleep right away. You're not supposed to sleep when you have a concussion, are you? Hey, Dr. Quinn, my man. Why did they send me to interns? This is not going to work. I can only train one intern at a time. Well, you need to make, meet your female quota, so get rid of him. One of you is going to have to go. Well, it's not going to be me. Oh, but I kind of thought you need more female employees. Don't make me go all feminist on you, girlfriend, because I motherfucking will. <laughs> okay, so it's been decided. But, but what do I do now? You can talk to Michael at the ward. He's always in need of more interns. God fucking damn it. Damn, shooing me away like I'm a motherfucking dog. And that's pretty much how everything works here at the ward. Exciting, isn't it? Great. They don't have room for me here either. Let me- Oh, is that that asshole that was in the fucking ambulance who fucked everything up? Let me guess. Quinn sent you. I might be able to take on another intern, but you're pretty late. I- I'm really sorry. I thought I was assigned to surgery. Hmm. I could explain everything again. Jenny, you were here on time. Do you mind a little deja vu? Nope. I love instructions. God, it's freaking Jenny. That's really nice of you, Jenny. Do you need to know how everything works? But yeah, I think I do. Thank you, I could really use some instruction. Allison, why don't you explain it to Alice? Or Jenny, why don't you do blah, 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 blah. All the music got loud and you guys didn't tell me? You dirty whores! First, the patient will enter and sit down in the waiting area. Try to get their attention. Next, time, next you'll have to tell the patient where they'll need to go. Oh. Electric chair. After that, you have to treat them. I want to do surgery. Some patients require more than one treatment. Oh. You oh. go here. <gasps> do we get to give him a shower? Some treatments require items or tools which you'll have to pick up first. I feel like it's pretty much just going to always auto tell me what to do. This is so cool. Oh my god. I don't trust her. We already know she's a dumbass. Nice. Great work, Jenny. Um. <laughs> um. There's a fucking guinea pig. Oh no, it looks like Ruth's guinea pig Oliver escaped again. Let's see if we can catch him. What is going on? How are there guinea pigs coming up out of holes in the hospital? That's like not healthy. Allison, are you paying attention? 
Is this guy coming at me? Like, I literally did all the work for Jenny. I caught the fucking guinea pig. Why are you looking at me like that? Two more things. Some treatments are more complex and require precision tasks, but I'll explain this further when they happen. And helping patients quickly with the right treatment will increase their health. Remember, leave them too long and I'll have to step in. That's all you need to know. I think I'll get the hang of it. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get started. I have a feeling I'll be doing all the work. Oh yeah, there. Peace out, Jenny. Peace the fuck out, Jenny. All right, come on, moldy oldie. Guess I'll be fucking helping you today. The fuck was wrong with her? Get in the seat. Get in the seat! Oh, sorry. Get in the bed. Oh shit, this patient's IV drip is not correctly set. Scroll in the right direction until the patient smiles. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy that though, trust me. It's gonna feel way better. All right, give me all your money. Hmm? Oh, should I gotta give her a shower? Ah. All right, calm the fuck down. All right, so pretty much just clicking. Who is that Earl guy that just yelled at me? Like, who are you? What the heck? All right. I just want to know more about the storyline. You gotta play this. Just get the storyline, though. <sighs> and I'm done. What a day. Allison, these are the dirty sheets from all the wards. You mind giving them a wash? Oh, fucking damn it. Aren't there, like, people for this? Get... I, went, I did not go to medical school to wash fucking towels, all right? Oh, I don't mind. You just take the one surgery internship there is. She's so pissed. Allison, why don't you just wash all the sheets in this hospital? <laughs> sure, seems like fun. Such a loser. Are you fucking kidding me, Jenny? Um, Connor? That's our- what if that's our boyfriend? Allison, I, uh, I was just, um, sh showing Jenny where to find the, um, the disinfectant. Yeah. So yeah, Jenny, now you know. Bye. You better fucking walk away! You better fucking run! Fuck you, Jenny! Oh, Allison, welcome back. Fuck you! Oh, Jesus Christ, how long is this game? Oh, well, this was a lot longer than I, uh, expected. <laughs> Cheer up, Earl. He seems a little agitated. Oh, Earl, we finally get to meet Earl. I know this isn't your favorite place in the world, Earl, but at least the sun is shining. You know the sun will give you skin cancer, right? Sure, but that would give you something new to complain about. <laughs> oh, Earl. Allison, maybe Allison can cheer you up. <sighs> I don't like brunettes. I find them aggravating. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks! You know what I find aggravating? The fucking blonde slut who just fucked my boyfriend in the closet, alright? So fuck you, Earl! I'm calm. Patients are slower to lose hearts in a comfy bed. Oh. Okay. Uh, why do I have to buy the beds? Shouldn't the hospital buy the fucking beds? It's all on Allison. Put it all on Allison. What do you want, Earl? 
Hey, Earl, do you need anything? Yes, I need to not be in a hospital. God fucking damn it. A glass of water. Water, what am I, a plant? Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, there you go. Oh. In you go. Oh fucking, where are the band-aids? Oh my god, they never told me where the band-aids were! Oh my god, I think I- oh. What the fuck do you want, Earl? Is the temptress in here always set to devil's waiting room? Uh, it's pretty warm. I can try to lower the thermostat. Try! <laughs> How about you just do it? Motherfucker, no. I need some chill. Oh shit, I forgot about this dude. My bad. My bad. Wait, hold on. Oh, I don't want to do that. Fucking baby boomers, exactly. Exactly, chat. Fucking baby boomers. Oh, I read that book too. Do you like it? It's incredible. Oh my god, he's nice. Incredible for what passes for writing these days. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, you just threw a fucking book at my face, didn't you, you motherfucker? <laughs> fucking asshole. All the other old people are very pleasant, except you. This girl's still pleasant, even though I'm totally failing her. I kind of like Earl too. <laughs> Earl, Earl is your new daddy. He'd be a good one because he's gonna die soon. Click the bubbles. Try and click away all the bubbles from your syringe. Could you please stop walking around so much? I like how I added please to that even though he definitely didn't say please. Sure, just ignore my requests. I'm freezing. Can't you turn the thermostat up? First you're too hot, now you're too cold. A person can change his mind, can he? By the way, shouldn't I have gotten some form of medication by now? Dude, we should just get him high as fuck. It'll calm him down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've got the medication. With this whole renovation, several orders have gotten mixed up, so it took a little longer. So I almost die of old age here because of you? I dare you to finish that sentence. Allison. Ruth, I'm so happy to see you. I heard what happened with Quinn. Dear, not really what you were hoping for on your first day back. I didn't I don't know, Ruth. Maybe I just wasn't ready for surgery. Oh, shut the front door. You're just as good as that brat Mason, and Quinn is an idiot for not picking you. Come to think of it, all the men in this hospital could use a brain transplant. Feminist. She's my feminist friend here. Thanks, Ruth. I needed that. Just speaking the truth, dear. Now let's get some food in you. Bye, bitch. Good luck. Hope you don't die when we're gone. Emily's hospital food. Oh, God. Well, we all know every single Emily we have ever met in a video game is always fucked up. Emily, what are you doing here? Well, I came for Paige's checkup and somehow ended up running the canteen. It's odd. It seems like everywhere I go, people are in desperate need of a chef. Well, that's good news for us. That means the hospital food is going to get a lot better. But I like this Emily so far because she makes food. <laughs> so, it's, it's hard to beat that. She might be alright. If you can come back in a few minutes, I'll prepare something for you. Dude, it's a freaking cafeteria! Serve your motherfucking selves. Sit wherever the fuck you need to sit. Oh, uh, I think this is to do the next doctor thing. That was like, yeah, the cafeteria thing. Storage delivery. Daniel wants to store some renovation materials in the ward.
I'm heading back to the pharmacy now, but remember, Allison, don't let anyone get you down. Especially these jokers. Meh. Well, um, yes, you can just drop it off over here. Um, Daniel, what's happening? I was kind of sort of hoping we could store a couple of things for the renovation here. Um, but doesn't that interfere with our patients? It might, a little, but you would really, really, really help me out of a bind. Okay, if you've talked this through with Michael. Thanks, Allison, you're amazing. Oh, well, time to spend my hard-earned money on the fucking hospital. <gasps> All right. <clears throat> well, that's about all we can do. Don't you put it in the middle of the fucking... Oh my god. Just... Where are the nurses? Shouldn't there be nurses? Where are they? That combo. Oh wait, I can like grab multiple things. I need to start doing that. Wait, there's also these? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. What's that for? Oh my god, he bought us chocolates! <gasps> oh my god. For helping me out today. <gasps> this renovation hasn't been going well. And it's nice to have a little help instead of just complaints. Well, thank you! This renovation is really important to you, isn't it? You know, I became the head of the hospital because of my father, right? This is my way of stepping up and showing people I'm just as capable, if not more capable, than my father. And then you realize they're nasty dark chocolates. Yeah, once a guy got me like mint chocolates and I was like oh thank you but actually I don't fucking like mint chocolates what the fuck is this bullshit I didn't say it like that I really was just like thank you he's like want one I'm like oh I'm good I just ate I'm good I'm fucking good with your bitch ass mint chocolates even if that means I have to renovate it myself well, you've got my help now. That's true, but you also have an internship you have to finish, so I'll use that help sparingly. Earl's blood pressure. Ooh. You look suspiciously happy. I know, it was this thing Daniel said yesterday. He talked about not letting negative in voices influence him, and I guess that stuck in my mind. Talking about negative voices. Damn, called out. I hope he doesn't give you too much trouble, but Earl's blood pressure needs to be checked every minute or so today. Kelly was triggered by mint chocolate. Dude, no. Okay, I'm sorry, but people who like what uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream are fucking freaks of nature. Like, uh, no. If I want mint, I'm having a fucking bub- like, not a bubble gum. A gum? A mint gum? Or I'm having a hard candy mint that's a motherfucking mint. I don't want it in my chocolate. I don't want it in my ice cream. Alright? Like, I just don't even understand why people do that. I cannot comprehend it. And you're all freaks of nature if you like that shit. <laughs> there she goes now. What? <laughs> Shut up! Can you kill me now? Can you? Can you? Because I'm already done with this happy nonsense. Earl! Can you be any slower? Shut up, Earl! Not even that slow. What the fuck? 
I'm clicking the bubbles. I pretty much clicked everything but the bubbles, though. So maybe not. Oh, my God. Speed isn't one of your strong suits. Shut up, Earl. Can't deal with that right now. Hold on, people at the computer. About to check your asses out. Hell yeah, get that combo! Get that combo! Okay, I see, I see. Oh, this fucking guinea pig! Get your fucking guinea pig out of my fucking hospital! Fuck, I forgot about Earl. He's probably dead. It's too late for Earl. Earl, I'm sorry. I've let you down. You're dead now. Earl! I can't save him! Why can't I save him? Oh shit. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh God, that kid's not gonna make it. I, how did I get three stars? I like just killed a kid and I killed Earl too. One young, one old, at least we're equal. When you quickly assign a patient, you'll get a bonus heart. When you quickly start a treatment or finish an action, the patient will go to little hole. Oh! No, this isn't happening. Earl, you fucking dick! God damn it, Earl! Earl, that's like not even funny because I was starting to like you as a person and now I hate you again. Now I freaking hate you again, Earl. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Come on. Well, at least you can make it over here quickly when my life's in danger. Fucking Earl. What, are you insane? I thought you were dying, Earl. Ugh! Why, I've been nothing but nice to you today. I like her. I like Allison because she freaks the fuck out when she needs to. And you've been spewing insult after insult. What did I ever do to you? Oh great, now he's really dying. Oh, now you have nothing to say. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not falling for that again, Earl. <laughs> oh no. Earl! Earl, no! Earl! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Earl's alive! Oh, so I thought he was dead. <laughs> Our last words were being savage. <laughs> we're so savage, we almost killed Earl. Uh, don't. Do I have to do these challenges? I guess I don't have to. Do you guys, well, okay, do you guys want me to do the challenges? I didn't let him die! <laughs> He's right there. He's okay. Oh no, is he in a coma? Oh god, that's even worse. But I need you to come back. Dad. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's not his father, it's his daddy. <laughs> I don't know actually. I don't, there's no way of telling. Because on one hand, eh. But you never know. It doesn't matter. It could still be. Oh, Allison. Yesterday I didn't have a chance to tell you, but I'm really happy you were here to help Earl. Yeah, about that. How's he doing? 
Not responsive, but still alive thanks to you. I guess. I didn't see that one coming either. <laughs> Alright. Oh, should I can afford that? I get a new chair. Alright. Okay. We're getting this shit upgraded. It's looking good. The fucking guinea pig! Someone remove that fucking guinea pig. Apply cream. Apply cream on all the red spots. Yay! Ooh, Earl, I'm about to apply some creamy cream on you. I'm so sorry, Earl. It's all my fault. <laughs> Please be alright. That's something I don't miss about being a doctor. Ah! All the worrying. Did you do enough? Is your patient going to be okay? Well, I yelled. I went savage mode on him, and then he went in a coma after I did it. It's not just that, Daniel. Nothing has been going the way it should. I was going to start surgery. I was going to impress everyone. I was going to save people. Not have a patient who was under my watch almost die. I know things look bad right now. But think of it this way. At least things can't get any worse. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> this game is savage. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> I have to tell Michael I caused Earl's heart attack. Oh, hell no. We're taking that shit to the grave. We are never telling him. Do not tell. Do not tell him. He will never like you again. Earl was a real dickhead. Let's not forget that. We went a little savage on him. Okay. Yeah, I get that. But like... Maybe we didn't even... It might have just happened anyways. Don't tell him, Michael, no. Yes? I, I. I can't remember, do we bandage clockwise or counterclockwise? It's good. That's right, clockwise and there's no shame in asking. Good. All right, hold up. One fit? Oh wait, 200 would buy the fishbowl. I'm killing it! I'm fucking killing it, you guys! And not in a bad way! Yeah, we managed to not, like, fuck up the, the kid today. The <laughs> last time we drugged him. We didn't mean to. We weren't trying to drug the kids. Whew. Dang, I didn't make it to three stars. Close enough, though. Oh god, don't tell him. Don't freaking tell him. Mike, I have to tell you something really bad. No! What is she doing? What is she doing? I think I might have caused your father's heart attack. No. I He was trying to get a rise out of me I, and I yelled at him. That was when he started shaking. No, all right, first off, no, you didn't tell the complete story. First of all, he started shaking himself, pretending to be dying, which could have just caused him to die before I even said a word, okay? He almost made me have a heart attack, too. It's just my body's younger. I can handle it. <laughs> yeah, he does tend to annoy people. And by the way, you should always stand up to him. But Allison, unless you labeled medicine incorrectly, you didn't cause anything. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> you're so nice. I thought you'd be mad at me. Oh wait, what is this? New wing diamonds. 
Hey! Water! Alright. Golden groups. Check out four or more golden heart patients at once, multiple times. Something tells me you're being pretty hard on yourself. I used to be the same way, but in the end, it doesn't help you at all. Take my dad. He's been hard on me ever since my adoption, even more so after mom passed. I could cower, let that influence my self-worth, but that only hurts me more. No one is going to believe in you unless you believe in yourself. Give that man a hug. Of course, that's all theoretical. You know, I don't even know if he loves me. Okay, enough of this sentimental stuff. Let's get to work. Of course he loves you. You're a very nice man. Ooh, a painting. Wait, what? There was motherfucking fans up here? There are five hundos. Ooh, cream. I get a cream someone. I love when I cream. I mean... <laughs> uh. Alright, hold on people. I'll check you out in a second. Look at that motherfucking combo! That frickin' combo was great! Killed the combo. Oh god, I don't have a band-aid. Fuck. I was thinking about creams. Oh, cream! Ooh! Ooh, yeah. Cream is the best part about this game. Wait, how many... Okay, do I need to check out four people for the four heart gold combo or whatever the fuck it was called? It's just, when you're going that fast, you just have only so much time to think. I just want to save the people. <gasps> oh, hey, Allison, do we have a meeting? Well, no, but I was hoping to get Earl's medical records. Just to see if there's something I can do. It's very admirable, Allison. I think his file is... Right here. Thanks, Daniel. I hope you find what you're looking for. We will save you, Earl. Then we will kill you again. Because I got so much pleasure out of it the first time. Earl's files are scattered. Find them all. Oh, Jesus. Earl, I'm so sorry. I, like, got... Fucked up drunk here and threw your files everywhere. Allison? Allison? Allison! Fuck. Did you sleep in the hospital? I might have. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, but why did you sleep on the ground? There are like three good beds in here. I don't know. That's a good point. Oh no, Earl's files. <laughs> I'm sure it's all still there. Just collect the pages. I really wish I could help you, but with everything that's gone wrong at the pharmacy, I was here to pick up the prescription bottle with Earl's medication, but that seems to have disappeared. I didn't even ask about all the problems at the pharmacy. It's been pretty hectic all around. Maybe we can catch up after your shift. You've got a deal. Girl date, hey! Alright. Uh... I could buy another chair here, but like that's not my main concern, so I'm just gonna play. Save my money. Oh shit, I forgot about that lady. Calm down, people. I'm doing my best. <gasps> I'm trying. <sighs> Uh. 
Oh no, I don't have it. On the painting? Oh, yeah. Oh, the fucking guinea pig! <laughs> Ooh, cream! Cream guy, cream guy! Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Ruth. I was looking over Earl's file again. There must be something I can do for Michael. You know, he doesn't even know if his dad loves him. I don't think you can find proof of love in a medical file, Allison. Some people, especially Earl, have had their heart locked far, far away. And it takes quite some time to find it. That's it! Ruth, you're amazing! I know, it comes naturally to me. But why exactly? Eh. Alright, we. I said I'd do every other challenge and I actually skipped two, so we'll do this challenge. Oliver bought friends and they're everywhere. Oh god damn these fucking guinea pigs. Do we get storyline out of these? If, the, if we get storyline out of challenges, I'll probably just do them. I don't think we do. Oh, fucking guinea pig. Motherfuck. Oh god, why did I do the challenge? Why did I do this? They added like annoying ass guinea pigs to it. Hey, Kimmy, you fucking asshole. I'm gonna cook you. Shut up. Oh my god, where is it? I hear the stupid. Oh, it's right behind me! Oh, get away from the patient. Oh my god, I can't do this! I can't, I can't do it with the motherfucking guinea pigs. I can't, I can't get the guineas. Oh, no! Oh shit. Rip. Oh, sorry, I have a really big monitor, so it's like, I have to like move, I gotta actually really try hard to look at everything. How many guinea pigs do I need to find? Jesus Christ! <sighs> Good God! Yeah, can't Michael help out at all, right? Are you serious? He isn't doing shit. Help me with these guinea pigs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we didn't even get the challenge. So the challenge then is how you get those gems. Oh, I was 10 points. Let's do it again. Just kidding. Never. We're gonna save you, Earl! We're gonna save you. What are you so happy about? Queensboro Bridge Hospital. It's a nice hospital. I don't understand why that makes you so happy. Your dad, he lives in Queensboro. He practically has a hospital next to his house. Yet he travels an hour and a half each week to go to the hospital you work at. Your dad might not say a lot of positive things, but his actions speak way louder than words. And I know this doesn't get him out of his state, but this must at least prove he loves you a little. Ah! Oh! I I never thought about it like that. Thank you, Allison. Ah! Oh! All right, we got six hundos to spend. Let's upgrade the bed and save our money. I should have upgraded one of these. Oh well, it's okay. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so close! I was three points away? How do I even get three points? Unbelievable. Nipple creamies. I 
I was hoping that Earl would be back before I had to leave for another department. I almost forgot. Tomorrow is your last day. I'm, I'm, I'll am i really miss having you here. You want me to wash these sheets? Nah, I'll take care of it. You've done more than enough. Good luck with your dad. My last day here. I bet Earl's gonna wake up. What's this? Don't stand still for eight seconds. No. Never. Even though I'm pretty sure we do that every single time. Help time patience in one minute. All right, I can do this. All right, let me grab some pre-grabs these things. Wake up! Being my last day, it was worth a try. You have to put your lungs behind it, otherwise it's never going to work. WAKE UP! <laughs> That's my dad. Even sleeping, he managed to do the exact opposite of what people want him to do. <laughs> right. Oh shit, I didn't buy new shit. Fuck. Well, I'm not working here anymore, so... What can you do? Hurry up, kid! I don't have all day. I need to help ten patients in one minute. Hurry the fuck up! Oh, the fucking guinea pig! You can like pre-click. I kind of like that. Whew! Day over. All right, Earl's gonna wake up, right? Right? The pharmacy. You'll get to make medication, find medication, fill out prescriptions, and have a lot of fun with Ruth. Every ten shifts, you'll move to a new room. Cool. Pharmacy time! Ooh, we can take the good pills home. To be honest, better than I expected when you first arrived. You care more than, ev than anyone, and that's what is going to make you an amazing doctor. Try to remember that. You're much, much better than you think you are. You've also been a great teacher. Bucket! Get me a bucket! Yay! Earl! Thanks, I might puke from this sappy mush! Good to have you back with us, Earl. Peace, bitch. <laughs> you do know, right? Know what? You know that I love the... I know you do, Dad. I thought he was gonna die before he said it. <laughs> hey, Dan, you look like you're having a hard time. I'm picking out colors for the new hospital wing. I've got it down to Brandon's blue and parade blue. Why don't you pick the color? Are you sure about that? Completely, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> 